Welcome to my studio, everyone, and welcome to where I create women in the arena podcast. For those of you that don't know me and only know my voice, I am your host and founder where I get to celebrate women doing extraordinary things in plain sight all over the world. It has been my privilege and my honor to be the ambassador of these stories. And these are stories that women have shared with me for the betterment of all of you. To celebrate International Women's Day, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I asked many women if they had the opportunity to sit with their most vulnerable teenage selves. What is it that you would say? What is it that you would want you to know? What you're going to see here is a movie created of all of their submissions and their conversations with themselves. I want to thank these women for lending me their voices, lending me their stories, and being brave enough to be vulnerable in front of all of us. Thank you all for joining, and I hope you enjoy. Hey, how you doing? It's so good to see you. Girl, I miss you. So look, come on, have a seat. We're going to chat real quick, okay? I just want to let you know on a few things. You are okay. No matter what you face in life, you're going to be okay. If you open your eyes and can breathe another breath, you're going to be just fine. You'll make it. You're phenomenal. Love yourself more. You are amazing. And everything that you touch, it turns to gold. You can do this. You can do this. And you will do this. You just got to believe in yourself. The world is your canvas, honey. And you can, you're going to go so far. But you just got to believe in you and love you a little more. I love you. I really do. And it's so good to see you. Thank you, Richier. Quick thank you to Aja for the invitation to participate. If I could go back in time and take the hand of my 15-year-old self, I'd first begin with the quote from Oscar Wilde and tell Lynn, <laughs> be yourself because everybody else is already taken. It's normal to feel insecurities, have angst over not fitting in, the awkwardness of your body, but don't give it too much energy. And if there are some things about how you carry yourself or the color of lipstick, then first put it through a filter and decide whether or not it's worth overcoming and take it on. See it through to the end. If it's not worth it, chuck it. Take that passion and curiosity you have today and direct it towards finding, exploring, experiencing, and living. Because quite frankly, with the longevity in our family, 15 is just a blip in time, and I even struggled today to remember it. So big hug, give yourself grace, and remember, I love you. If I could tell my younger self anything and give her some advice, I would tell her to be bold. I would tell her to be courageous. I would tell her to go after her wildest dreams. I would tell her to really, really, truly trust in God to direct her path. And I would tell her to also trust in her own abilities and to be expressive and to be confident in her talents. I would tell her to sing as if she was on the biggest stage under the brightest lights. I would tell her to enjoy her life. Oh, hi, it's Lou from Lou and Lou Land here. If I was sitting opposite my 14 year old self, I would say, fuck what everybody else thinks. Give less fucks. Say yes to everything. Take all the opportunities. Don't get in your own way. Seize the day. Don't base your entire life around somebody else. Don't put it all on another human being. Be that a man or be that a partner. Start with yourself. Give yourself a hot minute. Don't go rushing to fall in love. Don't go rushing to get married. Don't go rushing to have a baby. Just make the most of life. Seize the day. Work on yourself. 
come to a partnership feeling like a partner, feel worthy, feel strong and confident in your voice and what you need. Don't base a whole life in somebody else and what you think they expect or what others expect from you. Start with yourself. It's the self-love revolution, baby. Happy International Women's Day, which incidentally is every day of the motherfucking year. I will tell her that I am extremely proud of her and no matter what you choose, you can do it. And it doesn't matter what other people think, just choose what your heart and soul desires. Don't marry early. <laughs> Monica, you are going to be good looking. You are going to be loved. You're going to be wealthier than you can ever imagine. Wildly successful. All your dreams are going to come true. Just keep believing that um, if it's not okay right now, it'll be okay later. I, I think I would just tell her to relax and it's all going to work out. It's going to be okay. So, um... I would say, and I'm going to get through this without crying because I promise, <laughs> I would say to her um, to trust your gut, to listen to your intuition. Um, I would say to her that, you know, there's going to be times when everyone's giving you their opinions and everyone's telling you where you should go in life and what you should do and how you should be and how you should live. And you're going to have moments throughout all of that where you are going to hear a voice telling you something and you'll hear it you'll acknowledge it but you'll you'll mix it in with all of the rest of the noise that's going on but try your hardest to quiet that noise and trust that voice um that that is your intuition it will not steer you wrong and um you know just really focus on quieting that noise. You'll hear people's opinions. Some of them you'll love, some of them will hurt you, um, whether it's intentional or not, but that intuition will guide you. And so just, just trust yourself. I would say to her to listen to herself and listen to her inner voice. That you are always enough. Hey, I'm Dr. Saria Sabi, and what I would tell my younger self is don't be afraid to let go, to burn it all down and to learn to edit your life. It won't always be easy, but it will be simple. And it's the only way that you can achieve the things that only you can achieve in this life. And at the same time, have a sense of insane fulfillment and purpose and joy. I would say, <laughs> you got it, you got it, own it, and don't let anyone else tell you you don't. Happy International Women's Day 2024. My name is Leticia Roberson and I am coming to you from Washington, DC. And the advice that I would give myself as a teenager or a young woman just in general is to take the advice and counsel that's being given. I know, I know when we're young and we're just graduating, we're going to college, we think we know it all, but we actually don't. And a lot of women um, and people in general are just trying to help us and um, giving us advice and recommendations on things that we should do. Now, of course, you can research the recommendations or the advice, but don't write it off. It's probably gonna be useful. So I would say, really the bottom line, the fundamental message I wanna give my teenage self is to really get in the habit of talking to your higher self, whether you talk, call that the universe, the creator, some other dimension, Cut out all the other noise from what media want from you, what your friends want from you, even, even your parents as well-intentioned as they are. Really get to the core of who you are and commit to that. And if you're not sure, keep asking. Keep asking questions because the messages are going to come. And listen to those messages and trust that intuition. And most of all, commit and move forward. And then to know that it's so important who you spend your time with, who you have a relationship with, to really think about, to really put effort into 
making the right decisions in terms of who you marry, who you spend your time with. Um, and to know that even once you've done all that and mistakes are made, there's always learning, there's always opportunity to reset. But the most important thing is to connect to who you truly are and to love yourself because from that place you can have such a strong impact on the in the world. I would tell her to remember to hold the door open for herself as she gets out of her own way. Just dive in, you'll figure out the rest and you have everything you need within you. What would I tell my teenage self? Sometimes it's not you. Sometimes it's them. I think if someone had told me that sooner, I would have spent a lot less time trying to unpack baggage that didn't belong to me, carrying issues that didn't belong to me, trying to resolve problems that didn't belong to me, trying to hash through feelings that weren't my own. Um, I think that at the end of the day, what we have to remember is that sometimes it's not you, sometimes it's them, and that is for them to resolve, not for you to take care of. I'm Dr. Andrea Vitz. What I would say to my younger self is to always know that no matter what your life might look like, no matter what happens, no matter what people say to you, no matter what situation, have faith, fearless faith. Trust that this is exactly where you're supposed to be, what's supposed to happen, and even if you think you made a huge mistake, have faith that it's gonna lead you to something far greater than you could ever imagine. I would tell my 15 year old self to enjoy being 15, to relish every moment of being 15, to not grow up. The greatest gift that we are given is time and time will pass quickly. And with time, we gain in love, our experiences, our friendships, wisdom. We strengthen our faith and our resolve. So don't rush it, it will all come. Enjoy being 15. Hold on to that moment as long as possible. So I would tell my teenage self two things. The first one is stay consistent. Keep doing it. Whether it's the body, the health, the relationship, the mindset, the career, the money, whatever it is, you just have to stay consistent. You have to keep on trying. You have to try different ways, but just stay focused on one thing that you want. You want a good health? Let that be your focus for the entire year and then you will get it but once you get it just keep doing it don't let yourself go backward and if you fall just pick yourself up because guess what no one is gonna help you stand up again except yourself this is the first thing the second thing is don't let anyone tell you to tone it down don't let anyone to tell you you're too much you're never too much if God had created this energy in you, embrace it. That's you. Be loud. I would tell her, keep going. Even when it's dark and scary and things aren't clear, that if you believe in yourself, you can achieve your water. Uh, what would I say to her? I would tell her to be bold, to not wait. Because there's a, like when you're playing a board game, what I think about when you're playing a board game is at the end of the game, all the pieces go back in the box. Everything goes back in the box and we are going to go out back in the box. We have limited time on this planet. So if you are afraid of being embarrassed, go out and embarrass yourself, right? When you embarrass yourself, there's like this ether that comes from your pores and it just surrounds you and you feel crazy and horrible. But I promise you it goes away and then you say, I'm okay. Right. So be bolder. I wish I was bolder. Like, what are they going to do? Eat you? Be bold. Ask for what you want and just enjoy it. Make it a great life. Hello. Happy International Women's Day. I'm Sarah Bogdanova. I was asked what I would tell my 15 year old self. And I came up with three different lessons. The first one is be careful who you give your loyalty to. Not everyone deserves it. Whether that is a friend, a relationship, or a work organization, if it's in your nature to be loyal, sometimes we give this away to people who just aren't worthy of it. So just be very careful. Make sure that it's deserved. Number two, if you are in circles where you need to minimize or shine less bright, 
get out of those circles. There are better ones. There are going to be people who cheerlead with you, who expand with you. That's where you want to be. And number three, learn about money. Learn how it works. Learn how to make it work for you. The earlier you can learn this skill, the better. Okay, I hope you have the most wonderful Woman's Day. I had the opportunity to speak with my teenage self and knowing how I was and who I was as a teenager. There's a couple of important things that I would want to share with her that I think she would not actually listen to. The first thing is the things that other people say about you aren't true. Regardless of the source, they're just false. And you know it. You know that with every fiber of your being. So rest on the foundation of that knowing and give the weight of their words what they deserve, which is nothing. Number two, learn to be still. I know, another adult telling you what to do, even if it is you. The reason why you need to learn to be still is so you can hear that small, quiet voice that is always the source of truth. It will never lead you astray and it will lead you to the most amazing grand adventures that you can't even fathom right now. It will also teach you how to love yourself. And the sooner you learn to love yourself, the more time and money you will save without having to go to therapy. Trust me on this one. And the last one, and most important one, so if you don't listen to anything else I've said, listen to this. You are worthy. You're worthy of anything and everything that you can think of. Anything that you can dream of. That is for you. If you can imagine it, you can do it. Don't second guess. Don't start making lists in your head. Don't overanalyze. Just go for it and do it. You're going to be all right, kid. I promise you, you're going to be okay because you are more loved and stronger than you can possibly ever imagine, especially where you sit right now. Just know that you are capable of your greatest and wildest dreams.